I recently stumbled upon a video on Twitter presenting an alternative perspective on the construction of Egypt's pyramids. This intriguing idea suggests that limestone and granite were melted using large mirrors, concentrating the sun's power to create a laser-like focus onto moulds. These moulds would then be filled with the liquefied rock material and allowed to cool before being placed in the pyramid's construction. However, it's crucial to note that this concept remains a fringe theory and is not supported by mainstream archaeologists or the Egyptian government. The widely accepted academic theory involves the use of copper chisels, hammers and wooden wedges, presuming that slaves, likely lacking significant experience in stonemasonry, executed the construction. The proposed method in this alternative theory would have necessitated ancient builders to generate temperatures surpassing 1,500 degrees, essential for degrading limestone, and even higher temperatures for granite. Achieving such extreme temperatures would have required industrial-scale equipment within a controlled environment, an impossibility given the technological limitations of that era. The Great Pyramid of Giza comprises an estimated 2.3 million limestone blocks. Each block weighs an average of five tons, forming the magnificent structure we marvel at today. Though the exact construction period is uncertain, assuming a 20-year build, workers would have moved around six to eight blocks per hour daily. Considering a 10-hour workday, approximately 60 to 80 blocks would have been moved daily. With each block at five tons, the workforce moved a staggering 300 to 400 tons of stone each day during construction. Scholars estimate a workforce of 20,000 to 30,000 laborers involved in pyramid construction although this remains a topic of ongoing research and debate. Dividing the daily number of stones moved by the presumed workforce, each worker likely moved around two to four stones per day. According to mainstream sources, workers would have likely had to utilize sledges, ramps, and human power to transport the immense stone blocks across the construction site.